So I am just out here chilling around in Joliet, Illinois today. And I heard about something that I thought was interesting and I thought I would come check it out. Thought I'd share with you in case you find it interesting as well. So back in 1939, two men that were in Kankakee, Illinois, came up with the idea for soft serve ice cream. It was such a big hit, they decided they were gonna open an ice cream store dedicated solely to soft serve ice cream and the location of that store. Believe it or not, I would not believe this, was Joliet, Illinois. I'm standing right in front of the very first Dairy Queen. Opened in 1940 on this site in Joliet, Illinois, uh, 501 Chicago Street. So I'll turn the camera around and show you a little bit. So this is it. This is the building that housed the very first ever Dairy Queen here in Joliet, Illinois. It, it kind of surprised me because Dairy Queens are everywhere, but in Texas, they're so prevalent. Uh, they're a really big deal. So if I had to guess, I would have guessed Texas. But no, the very first Dairy Queen was right here in Joliet, Illinois, in this building. Uh, obviously, it doesn't house the Dairy Queen any longer. It appears to be vacant. I believe at one time uh, it housed a church. But for now, it is vacant. I don't think we can see anything. Can't see too much inside, really. We can just imagine this opened in 1940 and all the townspeople were gathering here to come get their Dairy Queen. There is a plaque on the building to commemorate its historical significance. The original Dairy Queen store established in 1940. So while this was the location of the very first Dairy Queen, the concept of soft serve ice cream that led to the opening of this store in June 1940 was created by John Fremont McCullough and his son Alex McCullough. They convinced their friend and customer, Sherwood Noble, to offer the new product in his ice cream store, Sherb's Ice Cream, located in Kankakee, Illinois. They wanted to see if the public would like it. They offered it as a special all-you-can-eat for 10 cents price. 1,600 people showed up and packed the store and the sidewalk all the way down the block that day, and they knew they had something. Still, it took a couple of years before they were able to open this first store because they needed to find a freezer system that could handle mass production. Since that humble beginning in 1940 at this location, Dairy Queen has grown to more than 5,900 locations in the United States, Canada, and 17 countries around the world. So while I was checking this out, doing a little research to prepare for my trip out here, um, I found something that indicated what the name Dairy Queen means. And it actually means queen of all dairy. Ah. Queen of all dairy products. Traffic is not cooperating. Queen of all dairy products. That's where the name Dairy Queen comes from. So. I just thought this was a real trip and I wanted to see it. And I wanted to share it. They're rich and creamy with Jake and Elwood over there in Route 66 Park would not be there if it were not for the invention of soft serve ice cream that led to the opening of this Dairy Queen. So there you have it. I'm sorry if I've made you a little hungry. So um, one of the interesting facts that I read was that Dairy Queens were often erected on the edge of small towns um, and they became, that's why every, uh, especially in Texas, as you're driving through Texas, you meander through a lot of small towns. And um, some towns are so small, they don't even maybe have a movie theater or a library. Um, so the Dairy Queen kind of became the local hangout. It became the place for people to go socialize. Um, so it wasn't just a yummy treat. It also became a real part of our culture, our pop culture, because it became this place for uh, people in these small towns um, that didn't have anything else. It became their place to socialize and meet up with their neighbors, talk about their day, talk about their week. Well, they enjoyed their nice, soft, um, and yummy treat. So, so there you have it. The first ever Dairy Queen out here in Joliet, Illinois. Hope you enjoy this little trip down memory lane. See you later. Bye. The land of Dairy Queen.